Okay, we are a week two of Anthony's vacation. Yes. I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, what if you're dead by the time... God, that'd like, be awesome. This is the ghost of Anthony. All right, so... Wait, you said, what if I'm dead? God, that'd be awesome. I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even thinking. What the fuck? Okay, so this is week two. Uh, next week, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, but this week, again, uh, we we only had time allotted to record one episode, so we're recording a new bonus episode for our patrons over at patreon.com slash who's right. And what you are about to hear is one of our old bonus episodes, so it's new to you. Donut, 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 fat, fat, fat. 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 Donut, 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 fat. This is the show. So I can always trust Dave to come up with some good fucking time wasting content. That's the that's the whole video. Just an hour of an hour of that. That is awesome. Hey, when I when I lean back to vape, can you hear it? Because I, I there's nothing worse in a podcast than listening to that fucking crackle. Agreed. Um, I, it didn't sound bad, but I, I mean, I can hear it. But I've always been able to hear it. Well, why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many different ways can I say, dude, vape, vaping is for douches. I mean, I, you know. It's... Okay, I watched this. Fuck, what the? I got to find the fucking name of it because it's super important. All right. And I want everybody to watch this. <laughs> okay. So the, I'm going to fucking stumble across my fucking words because I'm looking something up on YouTube at the same time. <laughs> All right. So there's this website or this YouTube channel that, I don't know if he's a mortician or he's a doctor or he's a doctor mortician. <laughs> But they they say, they do questions like, what does vaping do to the human body? Oh. And then they go through, they, like, dissected people, and they show you, like, on this video, it was half of a human head, uh-huh. like, right down the middle. Yeah. And it was like, okay, so when you breathe air, it goes in through your nasal cavity, and he's sitting there pointing inside the human head. Oh, my God. And then, like, when you eat food, it goes through here. Uh-huh. But then... He flopped out a fucking lung on the table, and <laughs> oh, it's super fucking fascinating. So, is it a guy or a girl that he's you know poking around in? I, it's hard to tell. It's a dead person. Hmm. I can tell. And then another one that I watched was "What do tattoos do to the human body?" And <laughs> he's like, "So th- this is human skin," and it was like a, a ten inch by ten inch square of human skin. <laughs> yeah. And he just flops it out like. <laughs> <laughs> but the the neat thing about it is that he talks in a way, like he just uses normal person language. It would be like me if I had access to human bodies. <laughs> huh. All right. Cool. So did he? Do, I'm assuming he did one on vaping. Yeah. Yeah. So did he make the little dead guy vape? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> What do you do? What's that shotgun? When you, when you vape and blow it into the, <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> even better. I, I just, here it is. Institute, Institute of human anatomy. All right. Are we all supposed to look that up? Yes. Right now. I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I didn't want to talk about it and then not say if, if somebody wanted to go look at, Dead bodies. Uh, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna pull it up and put it on the screen. That was no. a long buildup. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna sit here and like on our bonus content play somebody else's free content. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's just watch that. I want to watch somebody vape into a dead person's mouth. <laughs> so, after you watched it, did it make you want to stop vaping? No. I did. I did. I, I didn't. As soon as he started getting into why it's bad for you, I didn't want to watch anymore. <laughs> oh, I, uh, okay. Well, if if it's like smoking, because uh-huh. I don't smoke anymore, then it's like, well, yeah, that I'll watch lungs turn black and shit. That's fine with me. 
But when it's something I'm currently doing as I'm watching it, I'm like, I'm not. That <laughs> so, just makes me an idiot. So a couple of years ago, me and you got into a conversation about how you said vaping was like the healthiest thing that anybody could do. And the, the FDA was like trying to shut down vaping. If for we're going to have a conversation, let's at least have a, a, a real conversation, not uh-huh. your bullshit putting words into my mouth. I don't start this shit. Hold on, I got to minimize all these windows so I can concentrate on arguing with you. Uh-huh. Don't start these conversations on a fallacy of lies. <laughs> <laughs> she just mad. Now you're just making up words. <laughs> so, so you're gonna tell don't, me that you, that you didn't say man that. Me. <laughs> I'm steel manning you. So you're you're gonna say you didn't say that that that. Well, ab- absolutely, I didn't say that vaping is the healthiest thing a person can do. <laughs> I mean, basically, <laughs> I said it is healthier than smoking cigarettes. No, but you got like super pissed off because some It's how the other smoking cigarettes. <laughs> some some news some news place was running a hit piece on vaping or whatever and you were like so mad because they don't take this into account and they they say this and this isn't true and it's not antifreeze and they they say you're vaping antifreeze but you know there's a different chemical compound and you, all of a sudden you became a chemist, you know, like <laughs> overnight. <laughs> I just remember you were just so angry. I, I, I stand by all that shit. Even this guy was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what this guy was saying was all whatever the 68 deaths that have been linked to vaping uh-huh. have all been through the the THC cartridges. Yeah. With vitamin E in them or some shit. It's like, yeah, vitamin E. <laughs> So you did become a chemist. What? <laughs> Doesn't your body just naturally produce vitamin E? Not in your lungs. Oh. <laughs> huh. So, okay, so you, there is antifreeze in your vape, right? Though, right? I mean, that's like a fact, right? No, that is not, a, we're not rehashing this conversation because you don't learn anything. There's propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, nicotine, and flavorings. And the flavorings are the ones that cause cancer then? <laughs> it's some of them, yes. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I, was, I was just fucking around. <laughs> so is that true? There are flavorings that cause cancer? It's not scientifically proven, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> okay, let's pretend for a minute that you didn't vape. Now, now is it the flavorings that cause cancer? <laughs> I don't. I okay. If I don't vape, then I would say it's stupid to think that you can inhale anything into your lungs and it'd be good for you, right? Regardless of what it is, other than air, right. and even that's bad for you. It, everybody that has ever breathed air dies eventually. Damn that's it. proven. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! So okay, do you have any desire? To quit vaping or do you, is it just one of those things where you're like, yeah, I do it. I like it. I don't care. No, I don't like it. Oh, but I, but I like it more than smoking, but I miss smoking. (laughs) But you know, there's, there's a a third option, right? I mean, you don't have to do either one of those things. That's like saying you, you could not masturbate. I, I can not masturbate. You, but you can't not masturbate. You continue to masturbate, even though you know, you shouldn't. No, I should. And I like it. No, these are two totally different things. Okay. That's what that's what I was asking you. I, I like masturbating. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> I all I can tell you is that when I if I quit getting nicotine, uh-huh. I get kind of on edge. Yep. <laughs> for yeah, but that lasts for like what a week, two weeks. I don't know. It's I've never years. made it. I've never made it longer than eighteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> The, the the bad thing about it is, okay, so I trick myself into continuing to vape saying, at least I'm not smoking. Sure. And it's like a step down to end up quitting. Sure. But the problem is, is when you smoke, you get what? 0.2 milligrams of nicotine per cigarette or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. Okay. And you have a cigarette every half hour, unless you're driving or you just get done pooping or you just get done eating. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> but vaping, I do that nonstop. And I'm vaping a high nicotine vape. Uh, so I am just flooding my body with nicotine. Like uh, probably the equivalent of three cartons a day, I would assume. <laughs> three cartons a day. Jesus, dude. What three three cartons of peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> so why don't you like 
No. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> you, you, need, you need a vape now? <laughs> Jesus. So, why, okay. So why not, if you're going to constantly vape, why not go to like a lower nicotine? Then? I mean. Well, you think you're Mr. Wizard. You got all the fucking answers. Like I haven't tried that. No. And then I just vape more. It, was, it wasn't all the answers. It was one answer. <laughs> so. Okay, so there's got to be a limit, like... Okay, okay, uh, hot shot. <laughs> if you're sitting there talking to somebody that's addicted to heroin, uh-huh. right? They're they're on the street, they're selling their girlfriend, they're begging for money, they're uh-huh. sucking dick, everything uh-huh. that goes along with, with doing heroin. Yes. Would you just look at them and say, have you thought about doing less heroin? Yes. That's the first step, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, what, there has to be a I, first step, <laughs> right? Yeah, the first step is getting away from cigarettes. Which I did that. I did step one. Let just let me let me let me celebrate my win. <laughs> You've been cigarette free for what fifteen years now? <laughs> so, Winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Do they make a like a non smelly vape? Yeah. So why don't you just use that? I, then, no. then, I mean, it's still super gay, but then. I don't have to think about how your fucking room just stinks of peanut butter and jelly. It makes me sick. (laughs) (laughs) You haven't eaten peanut butter and jelly in years, but your whole house smells like peanut butter and jelly. (laughs) I don't understand. Yeah, whatever. You You should start smoking again. (laughs) I I really should. I I would get the benefit of uh, looking cool (laughs) and Uh (laughs) it would probably be cheaper. How's that? I thought I thought it was you were like a vape wizard or whatever, making your own shit, and it was like pennies for a gallon or whatever. Yeah, when I used to make my own juice, but I don't make my own juice anymore. I so ain't got time own- for that shit. <laughs> so just don't you just isn't it just what would what did I say like antifreeze and water? You don't need any flavoring. The flavorings are what cause cancer. <laughs> Right? Can we can we change subjects? I don't want to talk about vaping again. You're the one that brought it up. Wait, I think. Okay, what did you put on here? Uh, so I came across hey, this website. Hold on, before we go any further. All right. I, I think we should give these, these guys a heads up as to what the next coming weeks are going to be like. Oh, yeah, so we don't forget. Uh, I'm going on vacation, so we're only going to record two shows once a week. And they're both going to be bonus shows. So, yeah, so, so the regular Wednesday show. So we're going to record a show tomorrow. Yes. For our regular show for, this for week. For our regular show, yeah. And then the week after that, on either Monday or Wednesday, we don't know yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you haven't got that answer. No. Okay, can we just say Wednesday? Let's sure. just plan for Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> no, because that was the original plan, right? I think so, yeah. I mean, as far as I remember, yeah, that was the, I mean, we, obviously we didn't talk about it, but it was the original plan, I think. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to record a bonus episode on Wednesday that won't go public. Oh, it's so confusing. And then <laughs> we're, we're going to take an old bonus and put it out for the public episode. That way, public people, the free freebie people free still get something new to them. But the people that we truly care about, the ones that are <laughs> supporting us financially and we love with all of our heart, uh-huh. we're going to record new episodes for you for the next couple of weeks. So I'll be recording from a uh, <laughs> undisclosed location somewhere. I don't know where I'll be. Why don't you make Why don't you make it a disclosed location and then you can have somebody join you? Like who? Just any any like one of Eugen. our fans. <laughs> Eugen, what What state does Eugen live in? I think Texas. That's where I'm going. Right. So you could hang out with Eugen. Yay! How how? Okay, would you even know him if he if you opened up your hotel room door and he was sitting there? No, I don't know what he looks like. I, I'm assuming he's like looks like a kid. Not isn't he like super young? I think he's got a full beard. We've, oh. we've had him on before. <laughs> oh, did we really? Yeah. Hmm. I can't believe you don't remember it. Your mind is usually so good. <laughs> Your mind is usually so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got through that. We're going to have to repeat that again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, uh, so I'll wherever, know. whatever hotel room I'm in, whatever town I'm in, I'm sure I'll let everybody know 
it, it'll be might be it might look a little different, obviously, because I might be recording with a different mic, different camera, but whatever. We'll get it figured out. Uh, I'm putting a card on here so we remember to uh, to to say it again tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay, yeah. so now I've changed the Monday board to Tuesday show. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, like 15 minutes in? <laughs> okay, Tuesday show over there. Now the bonus episode's over here. And we've got two things to talk about plus 40 things in the other fucking column. <laughs> right. What a fucking mess. I, I came across this website um, right before we started recording. It's called The website's called Drag Syndrome. Did you open this already? No. Okay. Did we cover this with transgender? Is transgender and drag the same or is it different? I th- I think it's different. Okay. It? Right, I mean, so I, then- I, I just, I mean, this obvi- it obviously touches on trans or I mean, uh, drag stuff, but what this is, is, uh, people with down syndrome dressed in drag. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. <laughs> you, you have no idea. <laughs> Just looking through some of this stuff. <laughs> this is like a joke. <laughs> Hold on. I got to put this on the screen. <laughs> I knew you were going to like this. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, we, I, I have to bring this up. <laughs> Share screen. Oh, my gosh. I, I hate shit like this when it's all. You just scroll through the whole thing. No, when it's. For the show, it's this is going to be all visual. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so everybody knows what Down syndrome people look like, right? They all kind of have that Down syndrome look. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but apparently, this one does his own makeup. <laughs> what What I want to know is like. Does to me what this scene? This is like a uh, what do they call it? Like a tra- <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, man! This ain't even oh, fucking man. fair. You want to support him on Patreon? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it seems to me like this is like um... <laughs> fuck. This ain't okay. We, we've got to figure out how we can make this into an audio thing. If, if it's just me going from picture to picture laughing, I think it's funny. <laughs> I, I think you're because your reaction because <laughs> your reaction is exactly like mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna forbid this website from being shown on here. <laughs> Why? But, because it would be a shitty, it's a shitty bonus episode just to listen to me laugh at whatever this is. <laughs> I, I think you're wrong. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, we're, we're going to support these guys on Patreon. <laughs> That's like a sure way for us to get canceled. <laughs> By giving them money? Yes, we're broadcasting that we're because they're gonna look into us. I mean, I don't care. I'm I'm fine with it. <laughs> the new queer cultural hero. Is there anything to read? Uh, yeah. So if you go to the like artists or whatever, you can read their like backstories or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think it was artists. <laughs> <laughs> How can you? How can you not just Horora Shebang, <laughs> also known as Madam Shebang in some inner circles, is a very super major bitch in many hoods around the world. <laughs> she won Alternative Miss Wilderness 2018. She is a man eater by day and a filmmaker by night. She won Best Actor at Cannes Film Festival and played Yol in the BAFTA nominee short Samuel 613. Currently, Horora is working on a major horror feature film as director and producer. <laughs> Justin Bond. <laughs> King Justin Bond, if you're nasty. So Justin Bond stupid. is multi-talented, handsome king. He can sing, he can dance, 
He can love you till the end of time. <laughs> Lady Fran- Francesca. Hail to the lady. Lady Francesca is one of the fiercest queens around. She is bossy, she is wild, and she knows how to make audiences go wild. She is known for her stunning looks and kind spirit, but please don't cross her way. She might bite. Don't you think that this is like, uh, (laughs) this is like exploiting these people? I mean, you know these people didn't write this. Okay. So here's what I don't know. Okay. Serious question. Okay. Do Down syndrome are they are do are Down syndrome people capable of living on their own? No idea. I I, I have no idea like what their mental capacity is. I I'm not even sure if that's a good test because I'm barely capable of living on my own. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Well, okay. <laughs> Can you legally fuck a Down syndrome person? I think so. Right? Really? <laughs> I don't. I. I. Re, I don't know. Type that into Google. <laughs> Can you legally fuck a Down syndrome person? Okay, hold on. There, there's got to be a way to find that out, right? Can Down syndrome people consent? <laughs> and also, where can I? <laughs> <laughs> where can I find one that consents? Gross. People with Down syndrome have sexual needs and desires just like any person. (laughs) No, they don't. Okay. A court ruled that a woman with Downs could not consent to sex. (gasps) What? What if she She wanted it? How can a court rule that you can't consent? What if a court decided, Doug, you're not allowed to consent to sex anymore? How fucked up is that? Okay, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, if if they can't consent to sex... Uh then this should be illegal. Uh-huh. Wait. So, like, I mean, this is a brilliant business plan. Don't get me wrong. Get a bunch of people, yeah. a bunch of people with downs, put makeup on them. You're creating your own fetish. Yes. Create a Patreon yep. and then start raking in the fucking money. Right. Like okay. we, we need a whole gang of, of this. <laughs> I wonder how much the, the performers make lady shebang bang or whatever it said. <laughs> I wonder how much she gets. Like, I bet you they just give her a bowl of macaroni and cheese and like <laughs> she thinks she's fucking rich now. <laughs> Pot of gold. <laughs> a woman with Down syndrome who was allegedly raped in Dublin two years ago did not have the capacity to consent to sexual intercourse. A trial has heard. A 34, 34 year old man is accused of luring the woman back to his house and raping her after she became separated from her mother on the street. The man admits there was some sexual contact with the woman, but maintains that it was consensual and that he didn't know she was mentally impaired. (laughs) It's so bad. The court has to say, no, no, she can't even consent. But the guy's like, I didn't know. (laughs) I mean, they've got the down syndrome face. You can tell. I mean, I don't know what that, what causes that, but you can tell. I mean, Maybe you think that's attractive. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying well, you can tell, you know. Can you get can you get downs? Can you get like part downs? Like like just kneeling, I guess. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> just, <laughs> you're not like laying on the floor completely. <laughs> like can you get downs to where you're you're mentally impaired but physically you look normal? That would suck to have downs and nobody knew that you had downs. Everybody just thought you were retarded. Okay, would you would you rather would you rather have internal downs and externally normal uh-huh. or external downs and internally normal? <laughs> external downs for sure. Then you, you can play that card all the time. Duh, I got downs. And then you just get whatever you want. <laughs> can I get a free number 4? <laughs> You could you could literally just walk up to every single girl and grab on her boobs and be like, the downs. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I don't know no better. <laughs> that would be a good Halloween costume. <laughs> a, a down syndrome guy? Yeah. Cause then you could go do, you could just go grab tits and shit. Ooh, downs. 
Halloween. <laughs> and then you can just pretend like you don't even know it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Anthony. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know anything about downs, so I don't know how like the levels of downs. Maybe there's like a all the way downs where you can't live by yourself. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> All the way downs. <laughs> That'd be awesome if that's what they called it. <laughs> Somebody that's listening has to have a relative with downs, right? <laughs> probably. We probably just lost them as a listener, I'm sure. Well, before you unsubscribe, can you let us know if there's different levels of downs? Yeah, if so, if somebody took your brother or sister and dressed them up in drag, would you be? Would that be exploitative? Would you be mad, or would you be like? Yes, queen, or whatever they say. <laughs> okay, there are three types of Down syndrome. Oh. People often can't tell the difference between each type without looking at the chromosomes. Here we are again with the chromosomes. <laughs> Jesus Christ with the chromosomes. Uh, because the physical features and behaviors are similar. Trisomy 21, about 95% of people with Down syndrome have trisomy 21. That's, that's everything you need to know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's three levels of Downs. So, which can all three levels live on their own? <laughs> which which ones are the most likely to dress and drag? <laughs> Does it say that? Okay, we're gonna learn a little bit here. When we're putting our gang together for for the drag queens, we need to look for certain ones. Okay, are you ready for this? Uh huh. That, this, uh, there's nothing funny about this. We're just gonna figure out downs together. Right. Every cell in a person's body contains their genetic code or DNA, which typically consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes. Did you know that? Yeah, that's why they call it 23 and me. Is it? Yeah. Yes. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but everybody's got 23. I, I just made that up. I have no fucking clue if that's right or not. I didn't even I didn't even hear what you said. I just heard the word 23, and I was like, 23 and me, chromosomes, that must be it. It rhymes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> With one chromosome in each pair coming from the child's mother and the other coming in each pair coming from the child's father. Mm. I didn't know this either. So I should have paid attention in high school. <laughs> Probably. Those 46 chromosomes are a, gen- a person's genetic blueprint. The stuff that makes them who they are, determining things like eye color, personality traits, and inherited risk of different diseases. When someone has Down syndrome, they have all 23 pairs of their chromosomes, but they are also born with an extra full or partial copy of the 21st chromosome. Oh. The 21st chromosome must be the retard chromosome. Every chromosome carry dozens, hundreds, or even thousands, what? (laughs) (laughs) Of specific genes, and doctor points out that many disorders stem from a single gene abnormality or mutation. Okay. But the 21st chromosome has 350 genes, and probably all of them contribute to Down syndrome. Okay, so the the 21st chromosome is what gives them their look, the Down's look. Okay. No, I I think. (laughs) No, no, I'm I'm with you. The extra genetic material is present from the moment of conception. So Down syndrome is not something a person can develop after birth or later in life. You're either born with it or you're not. So you can you can test for Down syndrome. Before they're born, yes. You, so then did, why would you, you, you ha- not know that? Yeah, but oh, I'm going to okay. pretend that I didn't for the <laughs> <Okay>. sake of this. <laughs> All right. So let, I'm going to try this again. So okay. you can test for Down syndrome. Huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to play along just not very well. <laughs> so you can test for Down syndrome. Yes. Yes, you can. So why would anybody moving forward have a Down syndrome kid? Because people are stupid. Like it, it, <laughs> if, if somebody said, you're having a baby, but it has Downs, you have a decision to make. I'm going to bring a Downs baby into the world or no baby into the world. Some people choose to bring Downs baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what would you have done? Oh, I'm, Dead baby. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe I would have delivered it just to choke it out. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you into this world. I could take you out. So uh, it's not fair. I don't know that I've ever actually had a conversation with somebody with downs. Me neither. So I, I don't know what they're capable of. Like, if the doctor would tell me that, 
yeah, your baby's going to have downs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can it, can it tie its own shoe? Mm -hmm. Like that's my number one thing. Cause I'm not tying shoes. <laughs> Okay. Everything else is cool, but I ain't tying your fucking shoes. No, if I can't bend down to tie my own shoe, I certainly ain't bending down and tying yours. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> huh. So I, I, I thought that like they had special homes for him, right? Like like down <laughs> like, like Ronald home. McDonald House. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that not right? <laughs> Isn't that what they do at Ronald McDonald House? <laughs> when you put your money in that little box at the drive through window, I thought it was for the Downs kids. Is that, is that not right? <laughs> am, I, am I wrong about that? I, I, I All this time, I thought I was buying bouncy balls for the retards. <laughs> they need money for padded walls. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being serious. Is, that, is, is Ronald McDonald's house not for Downs kids? No. What's it for? Are you are you are you seriously asking? A hundred percent. I I honestly honestly thought it was for Down syndrome kids. <laughs> so when like if if you have a, let's say that your your kid had a fucking heart problem uh -huh. and you were going to go get a heart transplant, uh -huh. you would stay at the Ronald McDonald House while she's recuperating. Oh, so it's like an actual house, like an actual place where they they just put you up. It's like a, it's like a hotel. Kind of, yeah, gotcha. Well, that's way less funny. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a whole hotel of just Down syndrome kids left on their own? Marco! <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus Christ, man. What? Oh, God, you imagine how that would smell, a whole hotel? <laughs> they had to drain the pool once a week. <laughs> uh, so, how do you think that if somebody had a down syndrome brother or sister or whatever, and they were willing to get him on the show. Do you think that we could be respectful enough to have a conversation? Absolutely. I don't think so. We talked to Tyler. He's basically got down. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think Tyler has all his mental capacity, right? Yeah, but he's like broken from the neck down. That's the same thing. <laughs> huh? But what if they said something stupid? Would you laugh at them? <laughs> I, I would, I mean, I wouldn't know when to laugh. Like what if they said something that they were trying to be funny, but it was really stupid. Am I supposed to laugh? Am I going to hurt their feelings? If I laugh in their face, <laughs> you, you know, the rules, if something is funny, you laugh. If something yeah. is not funny, you don't laugh. Right. That's it. It doesn't yeah. matter if they've got an extra chromosome. I, I don't care. <laughs> if, if, if it, it, it kind of does matter though, doesn't it? No. Shouldn't it? I, no, I'm not going to pander to somebody because they were. No, no, no. no. It's not. If, if we invite them on and then laugh in their face, is that pandering? If we if we don't, I mean. Anthony, I wouldn't laugh at somebody for being retarded. Like the I, real retarded. What if it was funny? Like what? Like if he started smearing shit on the walls, I'd probably <laughs> laugh. <laughs> See? <laughs> You'd hurt his feelings. <laughs> but I mean, what else? I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I would just feel like it would just be the weirdest fucking thing. Cause what if he's, duh, 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 duh. what if he just does some dumb stuttering shit or whatever? And, and oh, you laugh I, at him. Somebody on YouTube, cool guy on YouTube just said that a guy in our discord has a downy uncle. All right. So I'm going to check the chat. <laughs> All right. Somebody's donkey says that I have 1,488 chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Fathy. Oh, our my best friend Fathy has a downy uncle. He says I have a downy uncle. He once called my other uncle a fucking son of a whore in a family reunion. Huh. So he he knows good words. So I was gonna say, so he's just a regular uncle. Okay, I'm I'm getting out of the oh, the chat again. But yeah. Fathy, if uh, possible, see if your uncle will come on so we can. <laughs> oh, but he's he's probably fucking Egyptian. There's no way I'm gonna try to talk to an Egyptian downy guy. You think he doesn't speak English? I would imagine. Fatty speaks English. <laughs> so <laughs> I, he told me not to share it, so I'm not going to share it. Okay. But he sent me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm not going to tell you what he, I'm not going to just shut up. Okay. <laughs> so he said, I want to try something to uh, test out my English. 
if I send you something, will you, will you rate my English, basically? Yeah. And I, I don't know if that was the setup to the joke or what, but he said, please don't share this, so I, I, I won't. But what he sent me was so fucking funny. <laughs> can, you, can you read it? No. Come on. But Just read it to what, me. I won't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> it was an audio file, jackass. Oh, just you, play it. <laughs> he won't care. I asked him. He said it's fine. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blink twice if it's fine, fatty. All right. Hey, well, whatever. Moving on. I don't want to sit here and bounce back and forth to Chad. Oh, shit. Um, you you have no idea how fucking busy I've been with this show. I'm, I'm helping this guy with his English. Mm-hmm. I bet I've done four fucking resumes. <laughs> <laughs> so have you heard of anybody getting a job? Yes. Really? How does that make you had, feel? I don't think I had anything to do with it. I think what? it was a job that he applied for before I did his resume. But <laughs> like, like a McDonald's or something? He got a job at McDonald's? So if you were in a position to hire people, would you hire somebody to listen to our show, like a fan of our show, if you had that opportunity? So I, I, I do have that. I mean, I'm hiring. I got two positions open under me right now. Yeah, I just didn't know if you would want to say that. You know what I mean? No, I don't give a fuck. What are they going to do? Fire me? I don't care. <laughs> what are they going to do? Fire me before I can hire somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <sighs> yes, I would. Really? Hmm. Interesting. What about Fatty? Would you hire Fatty from Egypt? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's actually studying something that I would be interested in hiring him for. Really? Hmm. But he's probably a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> All the more reason. Bring him to Kansas. <laughs> oh, geez. Huh. Interesting. If I was in the market to hire somebody, I would exclusively hire people to listen to our show. <laughs> that way I don't have to be around any fucking normal people. I can just say whatever I want all the time. You know how fucked up that would be? <laughs> It'd be awesome. No, oh, I mean, like... I, I don't know that I could do it. Why? Because at work, I'm a completely different person. Yeah, because you have to be. But if you worked with, with people that understood, then you wouldn't have to be. No, I, I'm, I, I operate in a completely different mindset at work than I do outside of work. Oh. Like, you, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I understand what you're saying. Now. I, I, I know what you mean. But to, to have the pressure of somebody following me around saying, I thought you were going to be funny. <laughs> So they can work with me. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> so is Doug funny in real life? That's what I'll get. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I never quite understood that. Like you said, you're completely different at work and outside. Of work. I never completely understood. Like, well, I mean, first of all, where that came from with you. Like why everybody in the world is different except for you. <laughs> like, I, I have went through classes and, and lots and lots of training. I've been uh-huh. scored and rated and all that uh-huh. shit. Uh-huh. Like where I rate in my, what do they call it? There's an extrovert mindset and an introvert mindset in this um, test. Uh-huh. And at work, I am extremely extroverted. Sure. At home, I am extremely introverted. Okay. And they show my rankings versus the millions of other people that have taken this uh-huh. and the majority of people that are extroverted at work are introverted at home uh-huh. or something, but I'm not the only one is what or I'm saying. Something. <laughs> no, no, I, that's fine. I just like, have you ever thought about why? I mean, like why, why not just yeah, how I mean, effective would I be at work? If I just walked around all day going, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, that's the point that I'm getting at. Like even the fact that you think about like how effective am I going to be at work? I can't ever think of a time where I've thought, I hope I'm effective at work tomorrow. Like I just, am going to go collect my paycheck. I don't care. Right. That, I mean, right. Duh. Right. right. <laughs> and, and uh, I, it's fine. That's what I'm, that's my point is it's fine. Everything's fine. You don't have to be different no, no, at work. No. Everything is fine for you. Yes. I was in the same position at the same company as you mm-hmm. where I could have just 
went along collecting my paycheck. Yes. And I wasn't fine with that. I, I expect more from myself. Whatever. You think you're cool or something? (laughs) (laughs) I expect more from myself. What a homo. That is such a homo thing to say. Of course it is. I I expect more from myself. When do you start third shift again? Because you have no control over your life. (laughs) I expect more from you, Doug. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (sighs) You're not going to answer the question? No, I I start third shift on the 1st of August because I want to. I chose chose to. Oh, did you? (laughs) Yes. So... I expect... I can't even, like... I expect more from, what does that even mean? What you expect more from yourself at work. That, I, I just, that, that's the part that I don't understand. Okay. If, if you want to have a conversation about this for real, not really. Okay. Then let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now I need to know where you're going to go. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Then I need you to formulate questions instead of just repeating what I said. Okay. Give me a second. <laughs> or we can move on. <laughs> so, why, okay. If you expect more from yourself, why don't you expect more from yourself outside of work? Why I do, do you? You didn't let me finish the question. But I, why, but I do. Then why are you different? But I do. <laughs> then why are you different at home than at work? Don't you expect more from yourself outside of work? Yes, but for different things. I don't have to manage anybody at home. At home, I am not responsible for other people's careers. Oh, my God. The way you think about things is so weird. <laughs> responsible for other people's careers. God. Just go to work and get your paycheck and go home. <laughs> Jeez. I'm responsible for somebody else's career. You're like, you're starting to sound like a like a TV dad, like, a, like, an, old, like an old sitcom dad. You know, I really expect more from myself in my architecture career. You know what the fuck? Like, <laughs> okay. The the difference between you and I mm-hmm. is you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to be sincere instead of being an <laughs> asshole. Okay, I appreciate that. <sighs> You mm-hmm. strictly have a job mm-hmm. so you can have a house. Yes. Okay. You have found a job that pays you enough for your house. Yes. You have no interest in you have no interest in surrounding yourself with any uh I can't think of the word. Material possessions. Right. Like what what you have is strictly what you need. To, to to get by. Yeah, for the and, most and you're part. Happy yeah. with, and you're happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I am completely filled with self-doubt. <laughs> the only way that I can make myself sure of myself is by getting a promotion, mm-hmm. which sets me up for more self-doubt on if I can do that job. Mm-hmm. And when I do that job well, mm-hmm. I get a promotion. Mm-hmm. I have forced myself into a role that I'm not sure that I can handle. Mm-hmm. which means that I have to work harder, which means that I will nail it and then I'll get promoted again. Mm-hmm. And eventually I'm going to get fired because I have been so good. <laughs> huh. Never looked at it that way. <laughs> so let me back up. I have, I am also filled with self doubt, probably more than you. So it makes me better. So I, <laughs> I, I can outdo you in low self-esteem. I have, I have also put myself in a position of like, I don't know that I can do this job. Right. But the difference is, is that I'm not trying any harder. <laughs> Cause I, I just, I, I've accepted the fact that like someday the right people are going to realize that I don't have the abilities to do this job and then I'm going to get fired. So we're both going to be fired. It's just going to be for different reasons. Okay, so when I when I'm at work and like this week, you know, this last couple of weeks especially, I have been really really down at work. Like okay. just like what the fuck am I doing in this place? And because mm-hmm. uh, I I have a pretty good understanding of, of manufacturing, and I'm surrounded by people that don't. <laughs> <laughs> so right. 
I, I have told myself, even like going into work today specifically, sitting out of my car, listening to uh, whatever the fuck I was listening to to get myself psyched mm-hmm. up enough to go into work. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm just going to, I'm going to stay out of any additional conversations. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put myself out there for anything in any of these meetings that I got to go to. I'm just going to go in, do my job, uh-huh. go home. Sure. I'm not going to take on any additional work. Right. First fucking meeting. It's like meeting <laughs> after meeting after meeting. Of First course. fucking meeting. I'm sitting there. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. <clears throat> All right. One question, guys. God damn it. <laughs> That's awesome. Hmm. So I understand that, like, why you are on the track that you're on, basically. Like, you're moving up the ladder or whatever, because you put in the, like the extra work that you don't need to put in what I, what I'm trying to under, and I'm being genuine when I ask this question, what I'm trying to understand is why? Like, I I don't, I don't put in extra work though. I, I go in at eight o'clock every day and I'm out of there between five and five 30 every day. Yes. That's not extra work. That's just, I just, that's a day's fucking work. Yeah, yeah, but what you do during that day is what I'm is what I'm saying. Like you volunteer yourself for more, and you you're always like, uh, it, it, there, you you could do less at work and still get by, right? Yeah, but I don't. I get paid a decent wage to not get by. No, like I, you, I, you you get paid the least amount that they will pay you for you not to leave. <laughs> That's not a true statement. I don't work at the same place you work at. <laughs> that's every place. What no, do you that's mean? not. That's not true. They give me money all the time. Sometimes they give me five hundred dollars as I'm walking out the door. <laughs> Here's five hundred bucks. <laughs> a, that's how all of this works. You do. You, most people do the least amount of work so they don't get no, fired. No, and no. those companies okay. pay you o- okay, the least amount head. of money that you're, they can. You're right in my fucking wheelhouse now. You are fucking up. You just walked right into my fucking trap, mister. There was a trap? I didn't even see it. That was a good one. I set set this trap three years ago. Oh, damn it. All right. What you are talking about is discretionary effort. Most people... (laughs) Jesus Christ, you shut up. (laughs) Nope, sorry. Go ahead. Dispensary effort. Go ahead. (laughs) No, you're not even going to listen. You're not open-minded. If anybody wants to talk to me about discretionary effort, feel free to hit me up. We'll have a conversation. Now I need to know what discretionary effort is. Go ahead. Okay. So I, I'm not going to go through the trouble of drawing it out. A parallel, a, a line parallel to the ground. So your X axis. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> How about if I <laughs> if I describe it and you draw it? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a pen and paper? Maybe. Let's see. Get a piece of paper here. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to right. see it till we're done. Gotcha. Okay. So draw a line on the X axis. Okay. At the leftmost point of that line, draw yeah. a line on the y-axis. Yeah. Per- perpendicular? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, f- about, so far, it looks about what you would expect it to look like. <laughs> about two inches up, draw a line parallel to the line on the x-axis. Okay. Okay. okay this is, this is going to be the hard one. All right. Starting at the point... Uh-huh. Of the two lines that touch, uh-huh. draw a line uh-huh. trending upwards with an arc. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want the top of the arc to be at that line? I want it to be about an eighth of an inch above that line. Okay. If everybody's doing this at home, I expect you to show me your work. Okay. Okay. Wait, now, trending up and then back down or just up? Up and then that runs parallel with the line. Oh fuck! All right, I fucked up. All right, I'm gonna put an X dot right here. Yeah, where this you... would have been easier if I just drew it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Now, uh-huh. draw a line, a wavy line, <laughs> over the bottom line that goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Over the bottom line. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I got you. Okay. Okay, now hold it up. Like that? Not even close. 
<laughs> no, I put, I put X's over the part that that's, nope, that nope. I fucked up on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, what what does the second line represent? Okay, hold on. You know Where's what? my discretionary efforts? <laughs> I'm gonna open up paint. <laughs> oh, you're after I did it. You're gonna do it again. All right. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that this conversation would be completely different if I had a job where I actually like what I did matter. You know what I mean? Or to me, because I mean, different things matter to different people, obviously. But Okay. Are you with me? Yep. Or are you against me? <laughs> no, I'm with you. All right. Yours looks way messier than mine. All right. So far, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> Well, then I, I missed a line on yours. Yep, exactly. Similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this, hold on. This is going to be great audio. You missed the way, you missed the wavy line at the bottom. <laughs> okay. This, this side, the vertical line is effort. Okay. I don't, okay. Effort. <laughs> The vertical line is effects. Got it. <laughs> the horizontal line is time. Okay. Okay. This right here, I'm going to make this line red. <laughs> okay. The red line. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. G ignore that black line that runs. I got right you. There. Okay. The red line is... The, the, I'll get fired if I do work below this line. Like, yes. this is how much effort I need to put in to not get fired. Okay. Okay. So most people mm -hmm. hover right around this line. That's what you're talking about. They do just enough not to get fired. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So okay. I was right. <clears throat> this uh -huh. is like what a, like somebody, somebody with my personality does. Okay. Okay. They did. They do. They put in their their best effort every day. Yep. Okay. So what you do, this distance here between the red and the effort you put in, uh huh, is discretionary effort. Okay. That's it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Christ. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna explain something like interesting. Like what's, so. What? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. So the the distance between what normal people do and what you do, you narcissistic son of a bitch. Is, no, 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 is no, no. Discretionary no. spending. <laughs> the distance between work not to get fired. Yes. And, and work that you do. Anybody. So like if you are like, say this is you. Uh-huh. And you're walking down the aisle at work and you look over and you see that there's garbage on the ground. Uh-huh. You have to make a choice. You can either walk past it uh -huh. or you can go out of your way to bend over, pick it up, and throw it away. Uh -huh. That is discretionary effort. Yes. So all of this thinking and all of this training that you have is, is literally just training you to be a good employee. Okay. <laughs> hey, am, am I, am I, am I wrong? Do you, you're, you're talking, you're talking about discretionary effort in the context of doing more than what you're paid for. And the company is never thinking about discretionary effort as far as paying you more than what you would need to not leave. You, it's a, it's a one-sided uh, relationship and you're getting fucked, but you're like, I, but, but I'm, like, not, I'm not getting me, fucked. They told me these big terms, discretionary effort and blah, blah. It's all just training you with a little pat on the head that you're, you're good. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> okay. What what it does, it I have the ability right now. Mm -hmm. If if I go in there and say, "Hey, I would like to work third shift next week." Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I would like to hire six people for this project. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm taking 2 weeks off. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I I have worked myself into that position mm -hmm. by expelling or expending or <laughs> using <laughs> I took a shit one time too. <laughs> discretionary effort in the last 15 years. Whereas you just do enough not to get by, which is what, fine. You are content. 
Yes. Being told when you have to be to work, when you have to punch a clock, yes. when you can take a break, when you yes. can go take a piss. You're yes. you're content with all that. Yes. I'm not. So, okay. Back it up. <laughs> you're wrong. You worked where I work. If I expended all of my discretions on all of my times, all the all the discretion that I have on all the times, all the time, picked up all the garbage every day, <laughs> would it make a difference? Did it? Okay. When I worked at where you work, did yes. it make a difference for me? No. I don't then how so. the fuck did I end up where I'm at, jackass? You sold I out. discretionary my you, effort. You, you sold out. That's how. Yeah, and that's what somebody that's jealous would say. <laughs> See, you've always got an answer. You've <laughs> always got an answer. Did you not sell out? You left your you left your brothers behind. Oh, I fucking <laughs> stepped all over you, mother, right on your fucking neck. And and, and I would do the same thing in that situation. <laughs> hold hold on, just so I'm clear. You you want me to leave the union? <laughs> Give up all these rights that somebody else has fought for, uh-huh. and you're going to pay me an extra sixty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> okay, Where do I so sign? so khakis then, <laughs> khakis and a collared shirt. Got it. <laughs> oh Jesus! So you think that you you worked your way up due to discretionary spending, or discre- I keep wanting to say spending discretionary time, effort, discretionary effort. I thought it was time. No. <laughs> it's effort. <laughs> All right. So discretionary effort. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later. <laughs> when, so when I worked at my last job where we, where you had also worked, I was right there with you. I, I felt the same way that you feel about probably about the job you have now. I liked what I was doing. I liked the people that I work with. It was all, Great. And it, it was nothing for me to expend all my time, energy, effort, whatever the fuck you said, uh, discretionarily. <laughs> and and I and, and it paid off. I moved up at that company. Right. So I come to the place where I am now. I have no interest in any of that. I hate everybody I work with. I hate everything that I do. I hate the look of the fucking building. <laughs> right. OK. So how can you keep saying over and over again that you don't understand why I would choose to go the route that I went? Like because, you- because if I said I understood, it wouldn't make an interesting conversation. <laughs> we never would we never would have had this conversation if I under- <laughs> and that would have been best for everybody. <laughs> would it? We never would have got this super cool the super cool graph about discretionary effort. You ain't got a hair on your ass if you don't mail that to somebody. <laughs> I don't know what's on the back bunch of words. <laughs> I don't know what that shit is. Um, yeah. So what this comes down to really is, is I am, uh, I don't know if jealous is the right word. I, I, I wish that I had the balls, guts, whatever you want to call it to not work where I work. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> This is a bonus, right? This isn't going out for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, I doesn't Jose listen? To- nah, he doesn't listen to the bonuses. Oh. But yeah, as far as I know, he does. Okay. Oh, bye. Are we done? Yeah, well, sure. We got to go do uh, yeah, well, sure. We got to record our fucking dear flabbies. Mm-hmm. When, uh, yeah, I want to watch more of that uh, documentary. It was interesting. I liked that. Well, if we hurry up and do our dear flabbies, we can get to that. We can do some of that tonight, too. Yay. Bye. Bye.